There are loyal hearts. There are spirits brave. There are souls that are pure and true. Then give to the world the best you have, and the best will come back to you. Give truth, and your gift will be paid in kind, and honor will honor meet. A smile that is sweet will surely find a smile that is just as sweet. For life is a mirror of king and slave. Teach just what we are and do. Then give to the world the best you have, and the best will come back to you. The verses I just read are from the poem "Life's Mirrors" by Madeline Bridges. And although I know I do not always give my very best to everything I do, it is a quality that I think is important, and it is a quality I am trying to embrace. It is also a quality that I feel is stressed at TMI. Good morning, TMI. My name is Gary G. There are three questions people like to ask me. First, where am I from? I'm from Chi Nantong, China, which is on the eastern coast and next to Shanghai. Second, what time is in China now? <laughs>、uh, I forgot my watch, but I can still tell you it's about 11 p.m. in China now. The third question is why did I come here? And my answer to this is listen, and you will find out. In Plato's allegory, the cave, from Book Seven of the Republic, Plato describes most people as staying in a world of ignorance. He uses the comparison of people sitting in a cave, chained together at the legs and neck. There is a fire behind them and a path between the fire and chained people. The people are always forced to look forward at the shadows on the wall formed by people walking along the path behind them. The people, the people believe their world exists only of the shadows they see on the wall in front of them. When given a chance to leave the cave and their illusionary world, it is too difficult for them to do. It is far easier for them to stay in the place that is comfortable for them than to risk the challenge of going outside the cave. This upsets Plato. He felt people should leave their comfort zone and see the world that exists outside. In doing so, they became better educated and more informed about the world around them. Many people may plan to stay in their hometown for a long time. I used to be one of those people. I was comfortable and happy in China. My life soon changed when I decided to come to school in the United States, and I, my comfort zone soon was turned upside down. But because of this great change in my life. I'm a very different person than I was two years ago, and I would be today had I remained in China. I spent both my junior and senior years of high school at TMI, alone without my family and friends from home. During this time, I was forced to experience and learn many things on my own. As in the allegory of the cave, I dare to leave my cave, China. Plato would be pleased with me and my decision. I hope so. I dare to adventure outside of my everyday world, but because I did this, I have learned more about the world in which I am, and I am a stronger and better person today. I still remember the day I left China. The airline attendant in my hometown was surprised. Not only a young man with two big suitcases and a huge backpack. By the way, both made in China. But also where I was going to? Where? She asked. San Antonio, Texas. I replied. Are you sure? She asked. Yes, I guess. Her, quest her questions made me so nervous and confused that I really wanted to check my tickets, and I did, twice. When I first arrived in Texas, everything was new to me. The weather was too dry and too hot. It seemed impossible to get used to it. The food was totally different from my daily menu. Not only the way it looked, but also the way it tasted, especially tacos. <laughs> but the worst part of my adventure was the language bar barrier. One time, I could not understand what people were saying around me in a, in a restaurant. I got very nervous. But after I knew they were talking Spanish, I felt much better. <laughs>
My life, see, my life seemed dark and dismal. I worried about making friends. I worried about school. I worried about if I could be a part of this community. I wondered how I could do such a crazy thing. However, I soon realized there was no turning back. I had to go forward. I could not envision what kind of person I would be in two years, but I also could not envision going back to China. I can tell you, I never expected to be giving a chapel talk in front of 500 people. I never expected to enjoy American football. I never expected to see cowboys riding motorcycles on the road. <laughs> I never expected to have tacos for my breakfast every day. My world has certainly, certainly changed. It's like the weather here, but I'm used to it. And I too have changed along with it. There are many things which I have touched and changed my life in the past two years. First and foremost, you, my peers and friends. I am most grateful to those who have befriended me in a dorm and in the classroom, and those who have welcomed me into your homes. I can still remember the weekend my host family took me to a great Chinese restaurant. It was amazing. Another weekend, I prepared and cooked a Chinese meal for them. My dinner was terrific. I think so. <laughs> I thought to myself, maybe I can get a job there. You know why? Because I'm a good cook. <laughs> I can still remember driving for my first time in a pickup truck on a back road in Bernie. My teacher was a kind and a brave man because he had to be brave enough to sit next to me when I was driving. I can still remember the first time when I talked to my dorm neighbor, Claudio. It was about music, and I started listening to rap because of him. And he has been helping me improve my English for the past two years. We changed our greeting from hello, how are you, to hola, como estas. You can tell how much I've improved. <laughs> I, can still, I can still remember all the moments my Chinese friends have shared with me, just as I took risk coming to TMI. All of you are taking the same risk, but what I know for sure is that we are a family. Secondly, the effect the faculty, staff, and coaches have had upon my life has been momentous. I remember the first time I stepped into Mr. Bell's classroom for British literature. It was very hard for me. I did not really know what British literature was. I had heard of Shakespeare, but I had no clue as to who Chaucer was. Mrs. Miller was my calculus teacher. I thought I knew everything. I realized if I want, uh, sorry, but I did not do as well as I expected. After that, I realized if I wanted to do better, I would, I would need to be patient, modest, and work very hard. My government class with Mr. Rydell was initially quite a challenge, but eventually I was able to effectively participate in the Socratic seminars. Residential life was really a change from my life in China in many ways. I never stayed in a room with an alarm system. I never had a meal called brunch. I never thought that the person in the next room is from Panama. <laughs> I, I miss the freedom of my home, but in other ways, I have learned to be in group situations, be neater and even kind. I have appreciated Mr. Hamilton and Mrs. Hess's help for the past two years. In all honesty, I am grateful for the extra time, work, and effort of all of my teachers have given me, just as I took a risk coming to TMI. TMI took a risk in me. Thanks to all the TMI teachers, I am very proud to be a part of TMI community. I'm indebt indebted to my family because they have allowed me to take this adventure they have instilled in me a desire to do well, and I have shared my happiness and sorrows with them in the past two years. I can still remember vividly the day before I left home two years ago. My mom and my sister helped me pack. My mom told me to take care of myself, listen to my teachers, and go to bed early. Well, I have accomplished one out of three, which is not bad at all. It is as though my mom is standing right here beside me as I write this talk. It is like it happened yesterday. Everything is still crystal clear in my mind. 
During the past two years, my family has supported me through all my hard times, even when I was angry with them. Without their love and support, I would not be here today. I think it is important to value your family and the part they play in your life. Without them, I could not even have the chance to take the risk. The last two years have been a great experience. I remember every single Spurs game I watched. I remember every winning shot Manu Ginobili made. I remember every day I have gone to chapel to pray. I remember all the movies I have watched, like Hunger Games. I realize all these experiences have helped me to appreciate the world of TMI and the world of San Antonio, Texas. I know my life has been enriched immensely. I agree with Plato. It is difficult to leave the cave, but I also agree the returns from that initial step are everything and more than any person could ever expect. Christopher Columbus chose to take a risk, and he found America. Martin Luther chose to take a risk. And he opened the door to all religions. Martin Luther King take, to, chose to take a risk, and he changed racial equality. I chose to take a risk, and my life has changed for the better. But I also know that had I stayed in China, my life would have been fine too, because I know life goes on. Thank you.